Welcome back to Understanding Combat Sports Performance. And today, I want to talk about the conditioning cascade that we use to walk our athletes from understanding energy systems, efficiently using energy systems, and then implementing that energy system into their sport. And when I say energy system, I just mean the different conditioning systems that we use in our day-to-day -day life and in our sport. So alactic, lactic, and aerobic. So let's use alactic endurance or alactic capacity, for example. As we go through our alactic capacity work, I wanna walk through our three-step cascade. And I'm going to start with a univariable problem, which means I'm gonna pick one modality air bike, treadmill, versa climber, sand bell punches, inertia wave, doesn't matter which one, but I'm gonna pick one, stick with it, and get that athlete to understand how to use that system in the best way they can. So I'll say air bike, we'll do 15 seconds on, 45 seconds off, start at six reps, eight reps, 10 reps, and then slowly build two sets, three sets as we go through. That athlete's going to start to understand how to express that energy system, and how to explode in a longer duration, which is what alactic capacity is. Once they get really good at that, then we get to move into our multivariable equation, or I'm gonna throw multiple stimulus or modalities at that athlete so that they start to understand how to efficiently use that energy system. What this looks like, it's gonna be air bike sprint for 15 seconds, 45 seconds rest, next minute. We'll say kettlebell swings for 15 seconds, 45 seconds rest. We'll alternate between those two back and forth for we'll say 14, 16, 18 minutes. So we're getting anywhere between really is from six to 10 reps of each exercise so that we're giving them multiple challenges to solve while in the same energy system setting. We can also do this where we include multiple exercises within that 15 seconds. So plyo push-ups by four, if we're doing upper body a lactic capacity. Plyo push-ups by four, right into med ball chest passes by eight, and then right into a sand bell punch by six on each hand. That could take anywhere between 15 to 20 seconds, which would qualify for our a lactic capacity work. We'd repeat that every minute on the minute for six, eight, 10 minutes. Okay, either one of those work. I like to start with having a EMOM of 15 seconds for one, 45 seconds off, 15 seconds for the other, 45 seconds off, but that the athlete is starting to understand, you can add in the multi-exercise EMOM into that same paradigm where we're doing multiple exercises within that 15 seconds. Now, they learned how to do that energy system as efficiently as possible. They're getting multiple challenges in that time frame and having to adapt and explode as they go. Now we'll move from that into a sport specific modality. So we'll have them go into the mat, onto the mat, into the cage, onto the bag, whatever it may be. And now we're gonna implement this into the sport specific setting. So I'll have a conversation with the skill coaches or if you are a skill coach, this is where you get to have a little bit more free reign. You'll do 15 seconds on, 45 seconds off. This is a really good way to get our short-sighted games of, say we're trying to get a push out in wrestling. We got a 15 second go, get him out of the mat. If we can do that in those 15 seconds, I have to explode. That increase in urgency of having the 15 second time frame forces them to explode and expend more energy as opposed to if we just did open mat wrestling for those 15 seconds. Say we're on the back. I'm gonna have them unload for 15 seconds as hard as they can, and then take that 45 seconds off in the sport specific phase. So they learn how to understand the energy system, efficiently use the energy system, and implement the energy system into their sport. If you wanna understand more about energy system development and how to train it for you or your athletes, hit us up at buildingafighter.com, at buildingafighter on Instagram, or at building a fighter.